No, absolutely <laughs> not. That was that the, was a disaster. Oh, that was a, that oh, was a disaster. Oh, I see. A, did I see a heart? We do. We do. Hi, Rhonda Johnson. Hello, and Maxine Ferris Vanek. Hey, girl. How are you? Myra Lane. Hello. Uh, it is Lee, and it is Grandma Jean with Noman Backyard. Hi, Debbie Jones. How are you today? And Lisa Taylor. Um, if you're on, give us a thumbs up or hearts. What's wrong? Nothing. Are your glasses dirty? <laughs> no, no. Did you not clean your glasses off before we, <laughs> before we started this? Uh, let's see. Sharon Stein, good afternoon. Um, Rebecca and Val Burns from the UK. How are you, my friend? Sarah Smith, hello. Okay, so... Um, it's Woodcrafting Wednesday with Lee and Grandma Jean. Well, I forgot my hard hat. <laughs> That's okay. You don't need it. I, it's not woodworking, it's woodcrafting. We're, we're oh, just going to okay. craft the wood. Okay. Oh, thank you so much for the stars. Thank you. I'm sorry I did not see who that was. Betty Hughes, thank you so much for the stars. Thank you. And Lorraine in Rhode Island, how are you? Doris, happy Wednesday. Gloria Harvey, hello to you. Um, so we started this segment last Wednesday, and we are going to continue. We are going to rock on with it um, the best we can. Hi, Lisa Ogden in PA. Charlene Butler, how are you, girlfriend? So I showed you three different woodworking crafts this morning on our story and said, well, maybe we'll do the bunny with the glasses. Maybe we'll do, hi, Vicki Reynolds. Maybe we'll do the Little Sheep family, or maybe we'll do the... Easter gnome ornament and we picked the Easter gnome ornament and we picked it because one of our followers hi Vicki in Florida Miss Ford um, hello Kelly Bond one of our followers sent us the best idea ever so just in case you don't um, know you're newer or you're newer to our our wood shop um, this is what we call a gnome ornament and we put them out for every season and there's three different ones in a set so this was our christmas set i'm just showing you this was our christmas set right too cute and they're actually 3d they're three layers hi wanda bell how are you um patricia uh, patricia b it's good to see you too um and olga hi olga we're so happy you are catching us live hey gina dowd my girlfriend your package did you get the emails today, Gina? Gina, you see how my head is spinning? I sent you that email with the wrong information in it, and then literally after I said hit send, I realized what I did. So, But your package is in the mail. Um, hi, Brenda Miller. So these are the ornament sets. So this was Christmas. This was Valentine's Day. This one was Valentine's Day. And you see you get this, this a cute little hoop on them, right? So this was Valentine's Day. Gloria Hubbard, we are so glad that you caught us live in North Carolina also. This is St. Patrick's Day. So this is the one we have up right now. This is St. Patrick's Day. Too funny, right? Too sweet. But our good friend and follower, Kathy Trussler, from Michigan sent me a picture because she bought every set and she sent me a picture of how she displays them and shows them off every season and let me tell you fabulous Kathy, fabulous fabulous idea fabulous fabulous idea I don't know if Kathy's watching I don't know if she's at work she's busy hi Rhonda Johnson um fabulous idea and all the credit goes to her so now I I did I did it one like she did to show you guys, and then um, I did a little twist on it. Hello in Canada, hi jo Joyce Crowder, how are you? Um, I did a little twist on it, but I know so many of you have bought these ornament sets. I really think you're gonna like this idea. Uh, hello in Minnesota. Uh, let's see who else. Oh my goodness, we got lots of lots of hellos there. Oh, I should be showing you this way. Hi Vicky Daniels, how are you? And Rhonda Snow. Okay, so what Kathy did is she took a sign from the Dollar Tree, very similar to this. Hers, I think, was a little, shaped a little differently, but took a sign. This Now, this is just a blank piece of wood from the Dollar Tree, but you know the signs where, you know, it says home on it or it says Easter on it or whatever, and you could flip them around, do a lot of different crafts with them. 
So she just took a simple sign like this. She then took um, some, some, um, is it contact paper? Contact paper. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I come in handy once Thank in a you. while. <laughs> um, she took some contact paper, which you guys, oh, Brenda, Eli, we love you too, and we're so glad you're watching with us today, which you can use scrapbook paper, you could use decoupage napkins, you can take this and style it any way you want. But I did like the wood grain look that she used. Hi, my girlfriend Charlotte, how are you? Um, so really cute, this is from Dollar Tree, contact paper in this wood grain, all right, love it. Hi, Cherie Howell in Rochester, New York. We have relatives in Rochester. Oh, yes, we do. We haven't seen them in years. No, unfortunately. But I hope they're doing, yes, I hope they're doing well. Unfortunately. With COVID, nobody's seen nobody But I have been up there to their Lilac Festival. Oh, oh my Lord. It was a wonderful. It was it a bowling tournament. Oh, because oh. I said I didn't go. Well, you were too small. You okay. didn't bowl. I mean, really, give me a break. Okay. But anyhow... Marvelous, just all oh, the scent of lilacs all over. You should go sometime when it's there, you would enjoy it. In the spring, lilacs bloom, right? Yeah, yeah, we have a lilac yeah, bush, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do they still hold that lilac festival in Rochester, New York? Let us know. Um, so I already covered, I already covered my board, one side of my board, I already covered it because I didn't want to waste our time. But obviously, all you need to do is put your board on your contact paper, trace it, cut it. Hi, Debbie McGill in Ohio. How are you? And, you know, it's sticky and just put it on there. So this looks really pretty. This looks really, really pretty. Oh, Maxine Ferris says Tulip Festival will be coming in Iowa. Oh, what I was at Tulip Festival. Oh, one. Oh, tulip I love festival. tulips. Oh. Wonderful. I where is the big tulip festival? My mother in law went several years uh, ago. Was it Lansdowne? Lansdowne? Like, that was like like Scandinavia or something. Didn't she oh, go? Oh, she oh, went over. out of the country. Yeah. Okay. Oh. But, but what was the gardens? Longwood Gardens we went Longwood to. Longwood Gardens. Beautiful. Wonderful. They have a be lot of tulips there. Oh, maybe flowers. we could take a ride down. Pardon? Maybe we could take a ride down. Well, yes, season. let's go. And we could take the folks with us. Oh, you, you always take them Why everywhere not? you oh, go. <laughs> why not? Hi, Betsy and PA. How are you? Um, and Cheryl in Niagara Falls. We love Niagara Falls. Oh, New York. I do too. I love that. Uh, Niagara Falls. I won't even tell you the story right now. You told once before. I told it once before. <laughs> how I almost went over the falls. Yes. Uh, was it on your honeymoon? Yes. Uh, we stopped by a roadside and the river was flowing right into the falls. So my husband said, I said, oh, this is great. Let's take a picture. So he is not very good with cameras. I'm walking backwards, and he's taking the picture, and he's saying, go back further, go back further, go back further. And I'm not paying attention. I'm listening to him <laughs> smiling. And all of a sudden. Because you were a newlywed. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. How many years ago? Well. Because I tried to tell them the other day, and I, I want to make sure I got it right. Almost 62 six, years, almost. Six, 62. Yeah. But anyhow, all of a sudden I saw my foot slip a little, and I looked down. There's the river. I'm on a back. Well, I came charging back like a bull. I almost went over the river. The falls. Into the falls? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Hi, Kelly Stewart. Oh, she says they have a beautiful tulip festival in Washington State. Oh, I bet they do. I bet they do. Charlene Butler says, let's do it. Let's go to Longwood Gardens. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I think I think maybe we're going to do I that. I know. You take okay. people with you. I think we will do, do that. So, now, have any of you seen these push pins at the Dollar Tree? The I never saw them. You guys know I go to the Dollar Tree several times a week. I've never, ever seen these push pins. 40 of them for $1.25. But what's special about these push pins, and this is Kathy. Kathy found these, and I'm telling you, I love it. What's special about these push pins? They have a little hook on them. Can you guys see that? They have a little hook on them. So there's the pin, and they have this great little hook on them 
Now, I did have to go to about three different Dollar Trees in my area till I found them, and I just don't know if I, I wasn't looking in the right spot, but guys, these are awesome, awesome. I think they could be used for a lot of different, a lot of different crafts. Um, they were with, when I finally did find them, they were with the school supplies, which, and they were at the very bottom. And I just don't know if I missed them like the first time around because I thought, oh, well, it's just a push pin. There's no hook. These are cool. These are so cool. So what our friend Kathy did after she has her basic, really cute wood board, she took, now I already measured, I already measured the middle of my board and popped a little hole in there already. And she just, and these push in pretty easy. They push in pretty easy. She just popped. Now I'm gonna um, take a hammer and nail that down in the back, but she just popped it right in, okay? Um, guys, I love this. Yes, Charlene, I never saw them before either. And yeah, I'm loving them. I'm thinking these could be really, really cute. They're, they're fabulous. Wait till you guys see, wait till you guys see. Now I did, I did measure out ahead of time and I have my holes in here. Could you put a piece of foam or something in the back instead of hammering it down? Well, you could, we're gonna do that with the, the second project that we do. Oh. I took foam core and we're gonna use some foam core oh, for oh. the second one. Oh, okay. But, okay. now let's just, I'm just gonna tap it. I'm just gonna tap it a little so that nobody gets poked. And just be gentle that you don't bang it too much. There, that wasn't so bad. Okay, wait, wait, because wait, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is just they are nice. Too cute, guys. The push pins are nice too. Look at this. This is just too darling. I am loving this. This, okay, uh, Kim, thank you so much for the stars. This was Kathy Tressler from Michigan. I am love, this is how she displays hers. Okay, Clarine, yes, very handy. Look at how cute. Now this was the Christmas set. So when Christmas was over, she just went like this. And again, you can use any background you want and you'll see what I chose to do. I chose to do something a little bit different. Um, but guys, so this is all she does when her, you know, when the season's over, this is all she does. Ooh. Guys, how great is that? Yes, Rhonda Johnson, it's a great idea. What a cute idea. Now, I mean, if you wanted to hang it on your wall, you have somewhere to hang this on your wall. How sweet is that to just switch them out? Oh, I think that's season. great. How sweet is that? Or you could use it as a shelf sitter. You can get one that goes um, horizontal. Uh, well, but obviously you would just have to make sure, you know, whatever you choose. Yeah, they would fit horizontal. You just have to make sure your sign is the right size. How cute is that? Yeah, Charlene Butler says awesome with explanation points. I, I'm telling you, this is a fabulous idea, and it was not my idea. This was one of our followers. I mean, if you want to glue your if you want to glue your push pins down, you can glue your push pins down a little bit. Um, now let's do St. Patrick's Day, guys. Oh, that's this, a clever idea. This very clever. clever. Look at that. Yes. That is so cute. So absolutely cute. Hold on one second here, guys. Block. Okay. We just got rid of somebody we didn't want on here. Um, where did you get the little... Are you ask, I Patty, I couldn't see the end. If you're asking where I got the little gnomes, those are on our website, and we sell them um, in our shop. If you're asking where we got the little pins from, these, you get 40 in a pack at the Dollar Tree, and they're just little push pins, but they have a hook on them. Um, yes, Jill, we have a website. I will 
post it in the comments when we're done um, for the seasonal gnomes, but it is www.gnomeandbackyard.com, just like our Facebook page, except you don't use the and symbol, you have to spell out the word and. So it's www.gnomeandbackyard.com, and I will post it. Um, if, or if any of the followers, we got lots of people here, I see the names that, um, that shop with us. If somebody wants to post it, thank you so much. Um, Kathy, thank you very much. I used cork pieces on, oh, is, is that Kathy? Oh, no. The, oh, yeah, Kathy. You used cork pieces. Um, oh, on the back. On the back. Grandma That's Jean, nice yeah, Grandma yeah. Jean said, could we put, um, foam, something on the back, foam, like foam, cork, yes. cork, yeah, so look at that, great minds, yeah. you and Grandma Jean, great minds think alike. Wonderful idea. Um, let's see, Patty, uh, thank you, I need your website, okay. Um, great idea, Marcia says, and Kathy, I'm so glad you're on here, I'm so glad you're on here. Yeah, I'm loving this, I am loving this idea, it's, it's awesome. They could even make the board to, to fit in with their decor. Oh, yeah. They in the could kitchen, make any, in the hallway, right, but in I, the child's bedroom, oh, anywhere. Yeah. I loved the wood background, though, because I felt like it would go with any season. Yeah, oh, well, that's the, true. Of the gnomes, like it wouldn't clash with, because obviously oh, that, yeah, St. Patrick's right. Day, we got a lot of green. Valentine's yes, Day, we had red. Yes, you're right. Uh, for winter, we did, You remember you painted yours in the blue yes, for yes. winter? So I just felt like the wood background yep. wouldn't clash, and I'm sure that's probably where Kathy was You're going with, right. with the idea, too. You're right. Um, now, Kathy. Okay, so okay, so you guys, so here is today's Woodcrafting Wednesday uh, wood blank project, and it is the Easter set. I'm going to show you guys the Easter set of the gnomes. Oh, I already, cute. yeah, Grandma Jean and I already painted ours, but I am going to very quickly glue them together with you guys, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to display mine also. Now, Grandma Jean wants this one. She yes, already <laughs> I absolutely have to have this She already one. laid claim yes. to the tall board because she knows exactly where she's putting it in her room. Exactly. And then I did something a little different with picture frames that I want to show you guys just to give you a couple different options. Um, okay, so you get, this is the bottom piece that you get. So you get three of these bottom pieces and really the only thing you need to paint on the bottom piece, um, if you choose, is his little feet and I painted them black. And then I paint the top hook the same color as I paint my hats. So for this piece, you really only need to paint that and that. Uh, it's not a waste because it does give them the dimension. They're so cute. It does. Cute. It gives them the, the depth. They're 3D. Yeah, you're not so looking it, yeah. at just a flat, ordinary uh, item. So the it, next piece that you get is this piece right here. And this um, fits right on top. And I painted this one 100% white. I just painted the whole thing white. Now... If you want to just paint the beard, you could just paint the beard because the top will get hid by your hat or um, there might be a cutout so you would put color through. But for this one, I just painted it solid white. Somebody asked what glue. This is the glue that I'm using, but any quick drying glue, instant glue, would be good. Um, any quick drying instant adhesive. I don't use hot glue on these. I don't use my glue gun. I don't like to use the wood glue that takes a while to set and dry um, for any of my projects just because uh, some of the projects are, you know, a little more intricate than others. I like to use um, an instant set glue that you could get at Home Depot, you could get at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, you could get anywhere. So I'm going to just glue let me see is there rhyme or reason to what to who's getting there is okay hold on a minute I gotta remember who is getting what okay the blue guy okay all right this is for the middle guy yeah so I I'm just gonna hopefully not get my fingers stuck like I have in the past oh I hate touching these things it's it's take, stuck and I hate touching them. Yeah, Ooh, take the, take the push that. pin. <laughs> yeah, take the push pin. You are that's, really, you are on point that's, today. That's why I'm here. <laughs> you really. are, 
you know. You are, I can't see It's not because I'm good looking, I'm just, <laughs> it's just, you know, offer a little suggestion. You are there. totally on point today, Grandma Jean. I don't want to see your fingers stuck because I couldn't do this. Um, now yesterday, our adventure yesterday, uh, we started off, if you saw our post, we started off with smiles on our face when we left the house. And then um, we went to the doctors just for annual, regular three-month checkup. Oh I, well, but then, and then we went to the post office, and then we oh, went to UPS. Yeah. Yes. And then we had to go to the DMV to get Grandma Jean's driver's license photo updated because it expires in two weeks. Well. <laughs> what an ordeal. What an ordeal. Our, you cannot make an appointment at our DMV. Um, I might have to go get my other glue, Grandma. Um, I asked you, did you have everything? <laughs> and I said yes because I did have it, but... There's no glue? No, no, there's glue in there. I just don't know why it's not coming out. And I get nervous using these because I've... Got my fingers stuck. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. I've got my fingers stuck together before, and it has not been um, pretty. But you cannot make a, an appointment at our DMV. Well, we got there, and there must have been about 30 people in front of us. True. More than that. 30 people. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. And no matter what time, if you go when they open at 8.30 in the morning, they're waiting outside in line wrapped around the building. Um, Don't get it. But I did approach a very nice woman who was... Yes, very understanding. ...signing people in. And I just explained to her, I said, you know, do you have special hours for senior citizens or can I make an appointment for my mom? I said, she's 92, she's in the car, but I am not bringing, and the building, and like everybody was like this close to each other, and it was packed. And I'm like, I said, I'm not bringing her, bringing her in the building, first of all. Half these people aren't wearing masks and whatever. And, <clears throat> um, and I said, this looks like it's seriously like a three-hour wait. I said, we can't wait three hours. Do you have, you know, can I make an appointment, or do you have special hours? Well, no, we don't, but you know what? What does she need? I said, she only needs her, her picture taken. And she said, well, does she care? She was very nice to Oh, she was so us. nice. She goes, does she care if it was the same picture or not? And I said, 100%, no, we'll take the same picture. So she went in to her supervisor, took care of everything, and we were out of there in 25 <laughs> minutes versus three hours. Which I appreciated so very, that, very much. That was wonderful. That was wonderful. Okay. So we had a busy day, a very busy day. And then we went a few more places after that. Oh, I yes. can't even remember. No, that's all right. <laughs> okay, so there. I glued my beard piece. I glued my beard piece on to my bottom piece. So there's his little shoes. There's the hook on top. And there's our beard. Now, here's the one hat. The one hat has bunny ears coming out. The one hat has bunny ears coming out. That is just too cute absolutely loving that so we did paint our hat blue we painted our ears white and then we just took a little bit of pink and did a little accent inside uh, Angela if you could renew it online girl go for it but for some reason because I asked if we could do that and, and I was told no I was told no. You could renew it online, but you don't think you could get your picture taken. I don't know. We were, we well, were told no. different places in different states, they probably have different uh, yeah. programs. Charlene said, yay, Grandma. Yes. Oh, that's so cute. Um, so we also have a hat that has a cute little carrot cut out. So we painted this hat yellow, and then underneath... All I did, and you can see haphazardly, I didn't really, you know, do this to perfection. I just put a little bit, I first I did see where would my carrot be, and I just put a little bit of orange paint, a little bit of green paint. That's all I needed on that one. And when I glue my hat on, you're going to see the orange and green carrot come through. You know, it's... I was looking at it here, and I was saying <laughs> to myself, what in the world is that? Well, I you thought it was a see. big mistake she was trying to cover up. Yes, Susan, Grandma Jean still drives, and she is a very good driver. Thank you. She, uh, I believe, 
has only gotten one ticket in her life. No. You talked your way out of it. I was going to get to that. <laughs> you had she had one speeding ticket issued to her probably about 40 years oh, ago probably probably <laughs> but i've been driving since i was 16 so figure it out and <laughs> all them years and um oh you headed to school bye, bye. good luck bye love you and love you. um so She's a good driver. She's a good driver. She taught me. She's a good driver. And she's a good driver. And I taught my daughter. And she's, and she's a, a good, good driver. driver. Yes. Okay, our third hat has a cute little bunny cut out in it. So we decided to paint ours purple. And then all I did was paint, I painted like a little bit of a lighter pink behind it so that I wanted the cute little pink bunny to, um, to just pop out. Yeah, if you can do any of that online, go for it. You're very lucky. Yeah, very lucky. But that was yesterday. Now, today has been much more peaceful. Um, oh, it was a nice day today. To, tell them what we saw. Today, oh, you tell them what we saw uh, out in the, the backyard. Definitely a sign of spring. Was looking, she said, look at the woodpecker out there. One of the big woodpeckers with the big red head. A, filly, a pileated woodpecker. Okay. Pileated. They're called pileated. Well, I'm glad you said that. But he was huge right out in our backyard. You went from tree to tree. You very seldom see them. Uh, if you're out in the woods and you hear this tap, 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 you know he's around because he makes a, a loud noise, but you can never see him. Today he was in our backyard. Oh, yeah. I love it. He was huge. He, oh, he was he, he had to be oh, oh he was yeah. He, he was, was huge. He was about, about this big. He was about this big. Okay, it missed somewhere in the middle. Yeah. No, he was big. Yeah, I know he, he was. He was real yes. big. And we tried to get a photo and we couldn't. Right. It was yeah, it was tough. Oh so thank that's you for you the bird, stars. Bird lovers. Thank you. Um okay, so then you get three little noses. Three little noses for your gnomes. Oh, Amy, Melinda, oh, we're so we're so glad that you enjoy watching us. We enjoy having you. Three cute little noses. You know that's what makes the gnome. Is the is oh, the, he needs nose. Is the adding of oh, the nose. Yes. The adding of the nose. And my noses, I just painted them um, a buff color. Just a that's the color I like. Shirlene, it is a big bird, a pileated woodpecker. If you guys look it up, is a very big bird. He's the, one of the largest woodpeckers there. Yeah. Are. Yes. So then with the set, you also just get, you get a cute little bunny cut out, a bunny head cut out, and a little carrot cut out. And I am going to glue these onto them. Um, I'm going to glue them onto their beards. You know, you could choose to put them on the hat. I'm going to glue them on the beard as though they're sort of like holding it in their hands, sort of. <laughs> Shirley Chester says we're awesome. Aw, oh, thank you very thank much. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you. What you see is what you get. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sometimes. <laughs> oh, they're adorable. Oh, I know, they're love so them. They're oh. so cute. But you know, I'm going to let them sit to dry. I'll show you them in a second. Let's let them dry because I don't want any of the pieces falling off because then that wouldn't be good, number one. And... Number two, I'd be embarrassed. So, okay, what I'm doing, so I just showed you, in case you're jumping on, I showed you what our friend um, Kathy Trussler, how she displays hers for every season. So we're actually on our fourth set. We had Christmas, Valentine's, St. Patrick's Day, and now Easter. And don't tell anyone, we have a Mother's Day set. We have a Mother's Day set. In a couple weeks, we'll be putting that up. Um, the kits are from our website. Um, I didn't see who asked that, but they're from our, our website. We have a woodworking shop, uh, so they're on our website. Okay, what I'm doing, gonna do a little different to display mine. This was a frame from the Dollar Tree, and it actually was just a plain, a plain black frame. Plain black and silver frame. Now, I took these, you guys may have done this before. Um, I took these little stickers, the little stickers from the Dollar Tree. Um, K 
Can you do it online in Florida? Oh, <laughs> the, the DMV. I got everybody talking about the DMV. Oh, Amy, Melinda, thank you for the stars. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're new to stars. So um, thank you so much. We appreciate that. But we took these stickers, cute little, and they're raised, these little raised dot stickers. And we just spaced them out around our frame. I didn't want to finish this one because I wanted to give you guys an idea of what we did. So it was just a solid, plain black frame from the Dollar Tree. I did make sure when I purchased the frame, though, that my little guys were going to fit inside. So you can you can use a different frame, get a, uh, you know, get a different frame. Just um, if you have the wood set, maybe take one with you to make sure. I think this was like a four by six frame um, to make sure they're going to fit inside. So I put my little stickers on. Then what I did was I took my Waverly plaster color chalk paint. Hello, Teresa in Ottawa, Ontario. And hello, Diane Jones. I um, take my Waverly plaster chalk paint. I like to use the chalk paint because it sticks, it sticks very well to the frames. If you use acrylic paint, if you use acrylic paint, um, it's it, it doesn't stick well it doesn't stick well oh diane jones thank you uh, and nicole pierce thank you so i just took my plaster color it's not white and it's not cream it's plaster color and i just think it's really pretty um and i just painted my frame i painted right over those stickers so you can see they you know they stick up now um they're raised. I did have to give it two coats. Shelly Miller, your first time catching us live. Well, we are thrilled. Welcome to our live at Noman Backyard. We're so happy. And Bonnie Winkler, hello in Kentucky. But cool, right? Really pretty, really cool. So to take it from just a plain black and silver um, cheap looking frame and to turn it into this when it's done, um, really pretty. Okay, so... Hello in um, Alexis, North Carolina, Teresa Johnson. Okay, so then here's the back. You have the back to your, to your cheap frame. So what I was telling Grandma Jean a little bit earlier, this is so thin that if you were to, to push these push pins through, I mean, it's just really, really thin. I wanted to give it a little bit of stability. Hi, Katie Evans, how are you? And Peggy uh, Chenault, how are you? So I just took some foam core and cut it out to match the same size as my, um, as my backing. And let's see, I think Tammy said this is her first time. Tammy, welcome to Noman Backyard. Katie Evans, thank you for sharing. We do appreciate that. Yeah, you guys, sprinkle, sprinkle our video. We appreciate that. So I just cut a piece of our wood paper and to the same size and here we go so it's just the foam core with the wood paper it's okay it's over the edges a little bit not a big deal because it's going to be hidden by the frame so i'm just going to take this pop it in front of our backer and pop it into our frame so grandma jean what else is going on <clears throat> what else is going on? Well, I don't know. It's uh, oh, it's Ash wait. Wednesday. It's Ash Wednesday. Oh, yes, it is. So Lent is starting. Yes, yesterday was Fat Tuesday. Today is Lent, uh, Ash Wednesday, and uh, you have a really good recipe for uh, well, the, the uh, what the tuna? No, the potatoes. Oh, the potatoes, the, the, the casserole, the um. Yeah, like potato the, pancakes. We oh, we do have, have a lot we of good recipes for Lent. Recipes you have a lot of good. Lent. Yeah, you yes. got you got some good recipes for Lent. We'll have to make sure everybody uh, checks those out. Oh, thank you again for the stars. I'm sorry I didn't see who that was. And hello, Millie. Okay, so look at really cute. I did want to keep the wood background because I just think that's so. Um, it goes with any season. Any way we're gonna any way we're gonna paint them, it goes. Um, so. Real cute, right? Now all I have to do is add my hook. But what I decided to do is I wanted to paint my hooks to match the outside of my frame. So I painted them with my chalk paint. And again, yes, I did have to give them two coats. Um, somebody asked where I get my chalk paint. I 
get mine at Walmart. Um, they've got even bigger bottles than this, and it's not that expensive. It does last, and it goes a long way. It really does go a long way. I was working on something um, last night for us to do in a couple days, and I didn't have the right color yellow. I had a real pale yellow chalk paint. So then all I did was I took my yellow acrylic paint and I mixed the two of them together because I still wanted that chalky texture. And I did get did the- Did it work? It did. Oh, I good. did get the color that I wanted and it still had that nice chalky texture to it, the matte texture. Oh, Vicki, thank you so much for the stars. Um, and it sticks. It sticks to plastic much better than acrylic does. But yep, two coats on this, two coats on my little hook, but I wanted my little hook to match. For this one, we did leave the little hooks black and I think that looks just fine. Yeah, I can hold this stuff. And now for this, I'm just gonna pop, pop my hook because it's got a pin on the end of it. Uh, Lillian Rager says, hello, sweet Grandma Jean. Hi there. Love How you. How are you? Love you, love you, love you. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. So now, and I will have a third one when we're done, but this is, I thought this was going to be the way I'm going to display mine. So you can put them on a table or you don't have to use the stand on the back. You could lean them on a shelf. You could put all three right next to each other on a shelf. Um, yes, this would be a great gift. Uh, someone oh, just said definitely. This, this would be a great gift and it would be a wonderful gift. So now, oh, I'll show you. So here's, <laughs> oh, cute. he is just too cute. Here's the bunny ornament with the ears, and he's holding a little pink bunny. He's got his little boo-boo bunny with him. And I am just going to... Oh, that is clever. This is the way I am nice. going to... Let me make sure I'm centered. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh, that... This... I like what you did with that frame. What a difference. Yeah. Oh, yes. Right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, it, it, it's really... It's the same frame. I know, but it, you perked it up. You made it look uh, so, expensive. Like, look how cute this is. And I even if, it. you know what, if you wanted to separate the set of three, you were queen with the crafts. Oh, Lillian, thank you so much. Um, can you clip the pin with the wire cutter, then glue the hood? You, you probably could, yeah, you probably could. Um, there's yeah, but get get a pack of these hooks, get a pack of these hooks because I think you could do a lot of different fun crafts with these hooks, um, definitely. But even if you wanted to split up the set of three gnomes and give you know you have three grandkids, you give each of them one for Easter. That is just so cute. Oh, they are. That adorable. is just too cute. Let's see which other one should we put up? The one with the carrot. So, like, too cute, you guys. Really, really, really too sweet. Too sweet. And then, and then I would obviously have my third frame. I'll finish this when uh, we get off the live here. Um, and I would have my third frame with my, here, let me move them over a little bit. Are you going bit. to paint it uh, white also? So it's going to be exactly you... like this. Oh, I thought maybe you'd leave it like that and put it in the middle. No. No. Oh, no. Okay. No. These, okay. I, 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 like, these, I like this, Like, yes. these are, like, clean and yes. crisp. Yes, they and are. this, I don't. Yeah. But no, this is right. what we did. We just took a plain black frame. We put some of the little bobble stickers from the Dollar Tree around it. Put your stickers on before you paint it. Then paint it, but use chalk paint because acrylic paint will not work. Acrylic paint will streak. And you will have to you will have to paint it twice. Um, I'll just I'll show you real quick or I won't. We don't have a paintbrush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had a paintbrush. All right, never mind. I won't show you, but you get the idea. <laughs> I thought I had a paintbrush Don't somewhere here. Not, I'm not. Please. I'm not. But again, <laughs> two coats, and you get this pretty finish. Um, 
So I will do a third one. I'll do a third one. Look for, at how nice they would look on yeah, a child's dresser. For my third bunny. Or anywhere on a nice table. Yeah. In yeah. the in the middle of a nice Easter uh, selection. Right. Wouldn't that look nice? Oh my gosh, yeah. But this was the whole, this was Kathy Tressler. Uh, this was her idea from Michigan. This was, you guys have the best ideas and I love it when you share them with us. But this was her original idea. She's so um, clever. Because she buys every set that we have and then she, um, she paints them and she was like, well, you know, I need some way to display them every season. Oh, definitely. And this, this right here was her idea. And I absolutely love it. This is yes. the way she did yes. hers. And then I just thought I would come up with maybe a second idea for us. So I used the picture frame. Originally, I was going to, my thoughts were to hot glue the frames um, one on top of each other. But this particular frame has a rounded edge to it and it's not flat and they wouldn't lay nice if I had hot glued them. But that was my original intention. So if you have square, oh, you could use the shadow boxes. You could use all those, um, Dollar Tree has those shadow boxes. Uh, and those you could actually stack one on top of each other. Where did you get the push pins, Leslie? Dollar Tree. Uh, Kathy had found these at Dollar Tree. And this is what they look like. And you might walk right past them because I did. I didn't know they had a little hook on them. Because it just says push pins, but they have this awesome little hook on them. So, yeah, real cute. They have that awesome hook on them. So, yep, this was today's Woodcrafting Wednesday project. And you know what else these are good, come in handy for? Uh, I always, uh, you know that we always put the lights around the windows. Oh. And we take the push pins, that's my job. To try to keep the uh, lights straight and trying to keep them. Oh, uh, yeah. This way, if you put the this type in, it yeah. has a little hook here. You could just take and drape your lights right behind to lay right in that little hook. Right. But I thought I thought it was a cute idea to even just um, paint them to match my theme. Oh, Kathy yes. left hers black, and I love that with the wood. But then I just wanted to paint it to match my theme and I thought the little like the little ball here on the top looked really cute and matched uh, the little bubbles on our <clears throat> on our um, on our frame. Kathy says I found out about the push pins because people use them to hang cricket mats on the wall in their craft room. Okay, there's another idea. I do have a cricket, but I haven't used it oh, in about 6 months. Um I do have a cricket, but I just have not had the time to use it mixed in with all of this. So one thing I want to mention before we sign off for Woodcrafting Wednesday is we sent out our first, calling it a newsletter, we sent out our first email yesterday, um, email newsletter, and the response was wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It shows me how many people clicked on it and opened it. And um, it's so exciting to see more than half of you opened it. So I take that as a win. Um, but so if you signed up for it, just make sure that you check. And if you didn't get it, make sure it's doesn't, it didn't go to your junk mail. Um, just if, make sure you set us so that we don't go to junk mail. If you're looking for, if you signed up for it, obviously you want it, so you don't want it to go to junk mail. So double check that. Um, what we're going to be doing, the, our initial one that we just sent out, you know, we did show you one of Grandma Jean's recipes. We showed you one of our craft videos. We mentioned Woodcrafting Wednesday to let all you guys know it's a series we're going to try and do every Wednesday around 2 Eastern time. Um... But what we'll do in our newsletter is we'll show you some new items that are in the shop. There'll be a link to the shop. Um, again, we'll do more crafts and things like that. So I, I, I'm well, very Easter, happy. Easter is coming, and I know you have a few surprises for Easter. Oh, we always have surprises. Oh, Mother's oh, Day yes, is coming. Fourth of July is coming. Yes. Graduation is coming. Yes. Fred was working on something for graduation last night. Mm -hmm. My daughter is always, always uh, thinking up surprises. And to surprise me. And oh my heavens, sometimes, 
<laughs> they're great. They're good ideas. <laughs> but I mean, really? She's always coming it's up. It's what with keeps it. you on your toes. Oh, yes, it, it does. It keeps you young. And she tells me the day before what we're going to do tomorrow. <laughs> or tonight she'll tell me what I have to get up early tomorrow to do. Well, surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, everybody, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. We hope you have fun. Uh, we hope you liked our ideas. Kathy Trussler in Michigan, thank you so much uh, for sharing this wonderful idea with us. We love it. We love it. We love it. And I think a lot of people out there love it, too. So thank you, Kathy. Thank you so much. Hats off to you. Um, you want to say goodbye, Grandma? No. No? I'd like to stay here for a while, but no. Well, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> oh, it's, it's time to go. It's almost already. dinner time. Almost dinner time. Supper? Oh, supper? Supper? Dinner? No, it's a little bit early yet. Oh. It's not even uh, 2 o'clock, but it's early. It, but anyhow, we'd like to thank you for being with us. And we enjoy we enjoy you, your sprinkling. Uh, <laughs> don't forget to sprinkle Gnome in Backyard. And let, let your friends know that we're here and that you're enjoying. Maybe they'd like to enjoy also. So until we meet again, thank you for sprinkling oh, home. Oh, what, what? You have something to give away. Oh, oh. I told you I was going to remind you. Okay, well, and, and you didn't? I forgot. And you didn't. Grandma Jean, Grandma Jean has two of these sets to give away. So how about as soon as this video is over, you just go in the comments and randomly pick two names that fly up. Oh, yes. So we oh, almost I'm forgot. Sorry. Yeah, because we want to do that. We want to give away um, every Wednesday when we do a segment like this. We, we have wanna... two sets to give away. Yeah, we have two sets of the Easter. Two sets of the Easter ornament gnomes to gift away. We're not supposed to say the other thing. We're going to gift away them. Um, Grandma will randomly pick. She'll just go through, scroll, and put her finger on two names. That's how she does it. Um, <laughs> and and Lisa said... Now, don't forget, we have to give these away today. So don't worry, I'll remind you. I'll remind you. Uh, between me and you both, right? We both forgot. I just caught it out of the corner of my oh, eye. Oh, that's good, because then they'll have them for Easter. Uh, oh, yes, most definitely. So and then they can go out and get their boards. Yeah, or their and frames. And hang them up. Or their frames. Oh, or their frames, yeah. their boards, their frames, or whatever yeah. they chose. Yeah. Choose to get. Okay, randomly, she'll pick two winners when we're done here, and we'll let you know. Uh, you could send us your... Um, address. Okay, now finish up. I forgot where I was. Oh no, I'm just joking. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, sprinkling Noman Backyard. And don't forget, sprinkle a little kindness along the way. So until we meet again, take care. Bye everybody. Thank you.